first of all, uh, you know, a lot of credit to Ohio State. It's a good football team. I think two good football teams played tonight. Uh, obviously, one one, and uh, we'll see where we're at. Uh, but, uh, it was a game of swings, a game of big plays. Proud of the way our kids fought, kept competing throughout the whole game. At the end of the day, we gave them too many layups. Jump shots and three pointers can't do it. They took advantage of it. And again, that's speaking you know, the complete uh, credit to Ohio State for making the plays when they were given the opportunity. But we have to be able to make it difficult. Uh, that's what that's what a, a great team will do. And we're going to be a great team. We're going to make those special plays and special moments. So, uh, but I am proud of the way the kids fought. They never gave up. They found themselves a way to scratch and get back into the football game and ultimately had a, a shot to get a drive to. Put it into overtime at the end, but it didn't take place. So uh, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, get to the bye week and move on in a tough Big Ten schedule ahead of us. Gary, how did you handle the locker room at halftime after the last play of the first half? Uh, you know, challenged them. I mean, just ask them, the coaches, myself, the kids, challenge them in a way. Real simple was what I just said. You know, you, you got it. You, you can't. You can't just give them easy plays. You can't. I don't care if it's a miscommunication. I don't care if it's a, you know, a simple miss, clean, easy tackle, uh, a blown coverage, a blown gap. Doesn't matter. You can't give those things up. And again, if you're going to come into a place like this and play a very talented football team, you have to make those plays. It's, it's hard enough to stop them. It's hard enough to score. It's hard enough to play good special teams when you execute the right way. Let alone if you make mistakes. And, uh, I want to clean that up. Was that miscommunication, Gary? Uh, you know, I don't know that for sure. I mean, was I communicated? I don't think it was miscommunication. But you know, that's just, that wasn't just one. I mean, the same thing happened on the other side. So I mean, we give up the the, uh, the other touchdown for the uh, third and long pass there. So both those need to be cleaned up. And I necessarily it wouldn't necessarily was a miscommunication, but I can say this as as a coach, I failed the kids because I didn't get them in the proper spot. So that's all. Look at myself first. I'm not looking at the other coach. I'm not looking at the kid. I look at myself. So away we go. I'll get ready. Here you talked about eliminating the mystery of penalties. I mean, tonight with so many false starts, what was, do you think, the issue for that for you guys tonight? 110,000, however many, 100,000 out there. It's a hard place to play. They're vocal, they're loud. Uh, and we worked on it as good as you can. Uh, I don't know what else we would do to uh, you know, be, be cleaner in that area. And, uh, and they, they're loud. It's not acceptable. Now that it's over, was there anything special about playing hey. Urban tonight? <laughs> um, it was good to see Urban. You know, I mean, it really was. It was good. It's good to see him, and um, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity to come and compete at this level and, and be on an opposite sideline of him. And um, but it was, you know, I remember coming to Ohio State for the first time and playing a game. There was a little fond memory in my mind. See Urban, and I guess I'll see him again. Or we won't be playing each other for a couple of years unless we get the championship game. So, and we'll see each other. Gary, what did you see on Connor's face mask? It looked like on the replay that they didn't, he didn't have a hold of the face mask. Did I did you? not see that on the jumbotron. I don't think it came back across. Um, you know, there's mixed, mixed comments from what came from upstairs. So they didn't, they didn't believe it was a face mask, but I, I never saw it. So who knows? Gary, did you get an explanation on the illegal formation on the? Punt where they fumbled, but you guys, yeah, it was called yeah, back. Apparently, we were up close enough on the line of scrimmage. It's another huge play in the football game. It's inexcusable. So, you know, I think we jumped too on the play. So, we could have thrown a hit flag, in my opinion. So, didn't get reset. It's poor execution. Again, bad coaching by me. What is the, the level of frustration or the reaction when you all think the game went on the road and by penalties or just very slight missteps, they get the ball back and have all the time? Well, that's the game of football. You go back to two good teams, and you're going to look back in a highly contested game, and there's going to be 15 or 20 plays that probably could swing it to, to your side or swing it to their side. And um, when it's unforced errors, and like I say, layups again, I use the term. That's when it gets extremely frustrating. If it's a team that you know they just make they make the plays and put the ball in the right spot or block it up the right way, it gets a little bit easier to deal with. And, um, all those plays tonight were like that, but it just seemed there was too many of them. So it, this is a definitely a frustrating loss, and you know, we're sitting. We're sitting at, uh, you know, how we want to look at it. In my mind, we're three one and one, but uh, everybody else's mind we're three and two. So, but um, that's what I think we are, and we'll move on. So, 
in my mind, the you know, 2013 Badgers are three one and one, and what they do next. So uh, we'll be frustrated. We'll uh, be irritated, and uh, we'll move on. Gary, how'd you assess Stavis' performance tonight? Uh, he, he, I thought he played well. You know, it's nice to get the protection when the protection broke down in the back end. We're gonna have to get better at that from a protection standpoint. Play action, he was good. I thought he handled the ball well. <laughs> Made good decisions for the most part. Um, I can't really speak for the. The uh, the one pick I don't know if there was a, a route that was broken off, but Joe was Joe was approved. Gordon, did you say something complimentary Gordon, about Gordon? What's his name? Melvin, I think I think he'll be okay. Yes. Coach, can you say something complimentary about the kind of night Jared had with Aaron Spag? Yeah, I mean, it's just super. <laughs> Jared is an unbelievable competitor. He uh, he he's he's tough to cover in man coverage. He's tough to deal with in zone coverage. I don't know if he. Goes unnoticed, but it doesn't to my eyes. Uh, his intent on every run play to block—it's—it's it's incredible. He is a, you know, he was—he got dinged up there pretty good at the end, and there was no taking the young man out of the game. So he's a terrific competitor, uh, makes big plays for us, and I expect that to continue as we move through this season. What did they do to 